I'm Ethan Ons from Fiasco Sports and SA Football and Magazine, and today I'm joined by Rod Hill, Football Director of the Henley Footy Club in Division 2, and this is our weekly wrap. So we'll just start by going through the results from the Henley, well, sorry, from the Focus on Furniture Division 2 from last weekend. Sacred Heart defeated Broadview by 86, Athelston defeated Pembroke by 26, Foss Camden defeated Unley Mercedes Jets by 5, Gazer defeated Scotch by 55 and the Old Ignatians defeated your boys Henley by 34. That's your first loss for the season, unfortunately. Um, how did you feel that game played out? Oh, I just think uh, the boys from uh, Iggy's just played harder footy, actually caught us on the rebound, uh, pressed up really hard and actually caught us on the, uh, the slingshot over the top. So they just deserved to win. Our guys just didn't come to play, I guess. Now, obviously, you did have that weekend off the weekend before, before over the long weekend. How do you feel like that uh, That might have uh, halted your momentum a little bit? No, I don't think it, uh, that had an impact on it. I think uh, the boys have been travelling pretty well. Training was good during the week. I just think, uh, you know, we just underestimated the opposition. So, despite the loss, who do you feel like uh, were your best players on, on the day and really stepped up for the boys? Oh, I think uh, Josh Thule has played a really great, great game. Uh, Brad Henderson played centre-half back and full-back, did a great job. And um, I guess uh, we did really well in the ruck with uh, Harris Jessen, young player who's uh, play, come up from our juniors, played really well, gave us a, a, a good sort of spread through the game. Yep. Now you're sort of at that like that halfway point in the season, especially in the regular season anyway. Um, how do you feel like your boys are faring heading into this second half? Oh, I think our guys are going uh, pretty well. We've actually played 37 guys in our A grade at the moment. So I guess uh, our best team is good enough to, uh, to do really well in the finals. We've got a, a good spread of uh, experience and we've got some really good juniors that have come through our program. So... We're pretty confident that we can do well in the finals, yep. How important do you feel it is to give a number like 37 guys um, exposure into the seniors in the regular season leading into finals? Um, I think uh, Jared Wright, our senior coach, has done an excellent job, uh, is rewarding guys who've played really well. We've had some uh, tough games. We've got some older players who've been given a bit of a rest and uh, younger guys who have come up through... uh, the B grade uh, just to give them opportunity to play so I think uh, it's probably not ideal but at the same time it's important to expose guys to A grade footy see who can step up Absolutely and and looking forward to next week in the Focus on Furniture Division 2 I'll just grab some tips on these matches if you could Sacred Heart will play Old uh, old Ignatians I think uh, Sacred Heart will be too strong for Old Iggy's Uh, Foss Camden will play Scotch I think uh, Foss Camden, great team, got some really good youngsters with some experience. I think they'll get up. Uh, Pembroke and Broadview? Uh, Look, this is a really tough game to pick, but I think uh, probably Broadview with their experience and uh, with the fact that they've got a good coach, so I think they'll get up too. Gazer and Athelstan? Um, really depends uh, whether uh, Gazer can step up. When we played Athelston, they had some really good uh, run from uh, their back lines and had a really, really good forward line set up. So I think probably Athelston will get up in that. And your guys will take on only Mercedes Jets. I'm going to take a stab in the dark and say you'll back yourself. Well, I think, uh, yeah, our guys will respond to a poor week this week. Um, only Jets, good team. Gave us a run on that small oval up there, but uh, I think, as I said, our guys will come to the party this week. Yep. Sounds forward. Looking forward to it. I'm Ethan Ons from Fiasco Sports and SA Football and Magazine. Today I was joined by Rod Hill, footy director of the Henley Footy Club in Division 2, and that was our weekly wrap.